Hello and welcome to the Cowboys for Game Yu-Gi-Oh! podcast. I am Jake and tonight I am joined by Ben from Nolan CCG. Hello. And the annual appearance of Andrew Jones. I'm back. He is, he is indeed a member. And as you can tell, we have Bragg as our live studio audience. Yeah! So I've, I've had geographical uh, difficulties since I used to live a metre away from where the podcast was hosted. Yeah, anything seems like a long distance when it used to be below the place where they were recorded. Probably yell from my downstairs and it'd still show up. <laughs> True, it did. So, how was our week in Yu-Gi-Oh? We'll start with Andrew. Week in Yu-Gi-Oh? Um, well, I well, suppose that really nice. just encompasses tonight. Yeah. So, how was tonight? Well, it was 50-50. As in, I won 50% of my games and I lost 50% of my games. Um, that was alright. Still playing Drytron, um, post band list. Decks are right, but um, Shadows are really strong. Yeah. So I keep getting smashed by them. They do be low-key broke, yeah. Uh, ben? Pendulum kicks chair. Um, yeah, I played Pendulum. I played Performer Pals, to be specific. Yeah, the deck was super random. I was very confused. Yeah, it was uh, very... In testing, incredibly consistent, yet I saw some of the worst possible hands I could have seen all night. Same ended with up... the deck that I played. Yeah, I played... <laughs> ended up going 2-2. Two, two. Yep. I did worse than that with the deck that I played. So I played um, 60 card Mech Knight Orcus tonight. I um, thought it was a thick deck. I was like, yeah. I don't know if this is quite 60, but it's thick. Yeah, that bitch was thick. So I was at like 54, and there was like still a few cards that I wanted to whack in there. Like I think I wanted to put in Twin Twisters as like a discard mechanic, and then um, I think at that point I still didn't have Foolish Burial or Monster Reborn in the deck, so I kind oh, of just jammed some stuff in there. And it became 60 in the end. And then, like, to be honest, I'd still play cards in there. Like, if I could go over 60, I would. <laughs> um, and play, yeah, again... Play school, school rules. <laughs> you can go over 60 school rules. Yeah, why not? Fuck it. Um, so, yeah, again, when I slapped it together last night, um, like, it was fine. And then tonight, it was not fine. <laughs> Such is life. Yeah, yeah. I, I find that with, well, like, with dry and stuff too. Like, it, it can has some nice combos and put up a nice board but it's I kind of just forget how fragile um, it can be to interruptions let alone multiple interruptions and uh, yeah you you know they draw and lock your bird and then you're um, yeah. they draw and lock your bird yep that's, that's, <laughs> that's the, that's the, uh, that's the Josh. verb of it that's how you verb it that's how that you verb the verb <laughs> Josh opens five interruptions and then top decks the card that helps him I can't play. believe I can't believe yeah Josh sacks I lost, like a, today was sack city for Josh I mean well in for winning the game but I was uh, my personal experience with the sack tonight was uh, my personal sacking was losing the die roll with snake eyes to a cyber emergency going second into Imperial Order. And I was like, yep, smells like game. <laughs> <laughs> and game two straight into a drop. So it was perfect. It was fantastic. Just have the out. Yeah, just open better. Yeah, absolutely. Just open the callback. I can I call back by to three, please? Yeah, can we please? Just so that like Josh doesn't win every oh, yes. fucking game. <laughs> you see... He also had the bell. <laughs> yeah, this is fine, because if we had a second call second by, call we can <laughs> call by the bell. And then everything is fine. Yeah. Anyway, this is not the um, Josh Glenn depreciation page. <laughs> Appreciation page. No, no. If I make a page about Josh, it is only to shit talk him. <laughs> um, so it's part we... of the appreciation. No. His it, family would no. join in. Nope, that's enough. Um, so... We begin with some news uh, that has come out about some upcoming cards. So last week we talked a lot about what was coming out in Dawn of Majesty. Um, and now we'll talk about what's coming out in Synchro Storm. So there's a whole bunch of support that's come out for everybody's favourite birds. Lirilus, or Lirilusk. Lirilusk, is it? Are we going to read all of them? Uh, no. Um, <laughs> mainly because there's like 17 of them. And it'll this take gonna, up the this is going to be thing. a long podcast because um, there are a lot of cards got announced. Yeah. Well, for the most part, they just sort of help the deck do its thing. Um, like, I've watched replays and stuff, but it's not particularly exciting, to be honest. Like, they search a Diddy Crow, and they, they put really up a bunch of them. They, they, yep, they searched a Diddy Crow back in fucking... Back in Spiral, spiral format, format. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just to keep yeah. your drone alive, yeah. You played that one Diddy Crow? Like, yeah. Yeah, just for something over lane to to not lose your material, yeah. if I recall correctly. The old mate who special summons himself, but he vanishes when he leaves. Quick. Yeah, that's the one. You just overlay that, detach the quick, search it. Yeah. 
summon another quick. <laughs> yeah, it's not even that you needed the DD Crow, you just needed um, quick fix back in the graveyard. Yeah. Um, another deck that um, people like didn't really know much about was um, the Sherry stuff, um, Sherry LeBlanc's cards. Um, so she was one of the five days characters from memory. Um, and her stuff got announced. Um, these ones I will, will read just because they're a, a little bit unique. I remember, uh, who was it? Someone put in a video today saying this was like generically broken. Oh, this, the Synchro is. The Synchro is really good. Um, but we'll start with the main deck stuff. Uh, so we start with Sage De Fleur, level 8 Dark Spellcaster, attack 2, 9, defense 0. Um, you only use one of the second effects once per turn. Uh, target one wants to control one other card on the field. Special summon this card from your hand if you do destroy those targets. If this card is sent from the field to the graveyard, target one other monster in your graveyard, shuffle it into the deck, and then add one level one plant monster from your deck or graveyard to your hand. Uh, then we have uh, White Steed of the Floral Knights, uh, level six wind beast, uh, 24 attack, 18 defense. For some reason it has its stats twice, that really threw me off for a bit. <laughs> um, you can only special summon the card by its effect once per turn, you can only use its second effect once per turn. If you control level 2 or lower monster, special summon this card from your hand in defense. When the opponent monster declares an attack, banish this card from your grave, target one card you control and negate the attack and if you do destroy that target. Uh, then we have... Hmm? I, I just realised that this is like the Fleur Synchro stuff, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. Yep, so I we definitely have... bought the promo. Nice. Uh, then we have Necrosynchron, uh, level 2 Dark Machine Tuner Effect, uh, attack 2,100 uh, two and defense 400. Um, use its second and third effects once per turn. Um, this card's name becomes Fleur Synchron while on the field or in the graveyard. Um, you can target one face-up monster you control, increase its level by 2 until the end. If this card is sent to the graveyard as Synchro Material for a Wind Monster, special summon one level plant monster from your deck. Uh, and then the boss monster, which is Baroness de Fleur, level 10 wind synchro, oh, wind warrior synchro effect. Attack 3k, defense 2 4. Uh, generic material, one tuner, one or more non tuners. Uh, can only use its second effect once per turn. Once per turn, you can target one card on the field, destroy it. Uh, once while face up on the field, when a card or effect is activated, quick effect, you can negate the activation if you do destroy the card. No cost. That's pretty just, good. Just negate. Just do it. Yep. Uh, and then once per turn during the standby phase, you can target one level 9 or lower monster in your graveyard, return this card to the extra deck, and if you do, special summon that monster. So, the replays that I've seen of it, basically, you summon her, you do the neg, you do the pop, and then on your turn, bring back part of the material you use to summon her, summon something else, make her again. Make her again, yeah. Yep. So, yeah, super generic, super broken in so my opinion. So it's like a, um, like a new reincarnation of the old, um, like, desynchro plays. I remember seeing this yeah. stuff ages ago in a way, like you'd, you'd unmake and remake Trishula, for example, over and over again. So yeah. I like I like that. That's kind of like a modern little spin on it. Yeah, and it's good that it's generic in that like you can try and find other ways to exploit it. Like you, you might see this in like Dragon Link, you might see it in uh, Infernoble. Like there's different applications for it. Um, and then we have uh, an equip card, Fluid Deceptor, or yeah, flu actually it's translating to Fluid de Fluid, which is dumb. Um, or Fluret, I don't know. Um, you can only activate one card with this card's name once per turn. You can only use its third effect once per turn. Activate this card by targeting level to a lower monster in your graveyard. Special summon it, but its effects negate. And if you do, equip it with this card. If this card leaves the field, destroy the monster. The equip monster gains 700 attack. If this card is sent from the spell and trap zone to the graveyard, you can equip this card to a synchro monster you control. So it's a monster reborn, but then, like, if you're using it in the deck the way that it's supposed to, when it leaves for the synchro, you re-equip it to the monster that you've just synchro summoned and it gains 700. Sure. Okay. Battle uh, phase is bad, though. Okay. I'm not sure where the battle phase came in. Well, you're gaining attack. Yeah, I mean, having good attacks always nice. It means that you're less of a target for dogmatic and punishment. The dragon means you swap into a oh, battle phase and higher attack, but... <laughs> Oh my god, everything <laughs> circles back to Dragon Maze with you. Fuck. <laughs> um, and then, two more cards, I think, hopefully. Yeah, they're reprints, that's good. Uh, we have a Synchro Dilemma, Continuous Spell. Uh, you can only use this card's first effect once per turn. During the main phase, you can activate one of these effects. Send one Synchro Monster from your hand or face up from the field to the graveyard. Special summon one monster from your hand. Target one other card you control, destroy it, and if you do, special summon one Synchron monster with a different original name than the card from your hand to the graveyard. 
Oh, from your hand or graveyard. Sorry, misread that. Um, yeah, and that's actually the last card because it's a three print. Perfect. So, yeah, what do we think of the uh, Fleur um, cards? The Synchro seems very good. The Synchro is good. I appreciate another card being named Fleur Synchro so that you can summon the promo as well. Yes, however, it's only considered Fleur Synchro on field or grave. Yeah, it can still be used for the, the, the promo. Personally, I like that it's a level two Dark Machine tuner. What was it? Oh, it's a dark machine. Why is it not a wind? Because it's a dark machine. But wind. <laughs> but so you smell an orchest in the uh, in the waters there. Actually, with Maybe. the um, <laughs> with the scrap raptor and all that kind of stuff, that seems to set up those kind of plays really, really well, right? Hopefully, we'll see. Scrap raptor is going to change the meta in a nice way. I think. I am so excited for scrap raptor. Um, yeah, scraps. Studio audience. Yeah, pander to the audience. Lift the, lift the... Um, yeah, and then I think there was some news about the uh, Ancient Guardian set. Yes, so the uh, the names of the ancient so the stuff in Ancient Guardians has finally been given. Uh, they will no longer be called the Abyss. And Jake's really, really depressed about this because I haven't told him the name yet. Uh, they've been changed to the Ogdodic. Let me look at the word. O-G-D O-A-D-I-C. <laughs> Ogdodic. Wait, can I look at the Why? In the, the blue. <laughs> ah, dick. Ogdodic. Ogdodic? Maybe? Ogdodic. Dick yes. for short. <laughs> <laughs> Short dick? What? Why? Uh, why have they changed it? And why have they changed it to a thing that seems to give no context to what they are? I don't know. Maybe they were worried it might conflict with a search spell or something, but... Oh, it wasn't Dogmatica. Ah, uh, yes, the Hiss spell card. Wasn't Dogmatica drastically something different in OCG? Um, Dragma. Yeah, uh, that was Dragma. Oh, yeah, Dragma. That was, yeah, classic. Yeah, because no, yeah. no one could be like, Dragma balls! <laughs> Dragma dick. Dragma nuts. I love it. That's really depressing. And what about the other two? Are they still the same? Uh, the musically fe- themed Sulfur Chord and Sulfur Ursatic chord. is still the same. So Ursatic, well, in OCG they're Beartic. So I think with I think that one we got an early translation for for whatever reason. So okay. we always knew that was going to be Ursatic. It's or... Urs- Urs- Ursarctic. Yeah. Yeah. And then what's the other one? What did uh, you say it was? Sulfur Chord. Sulfur chord, I suppose. The musically yeah. themed sulfur chord strategy. Those do be some mm. names. Right. Also confirmed for reprint, Snake Rain. Yeah. You'll Whoa. find Snake Rain and lots of reptile reprints in Ancient Guardians. Rip all yeah. the uh, hoarders and the people hold enough to sell. I mean, <laughs> we knew it was going to be from the beginning. They sort of said, like, the OCG was going to get it. So, mm. like, 90% we were going to get it, right? Yeah. Yeah, it... If it's in the first, like, if it's in the original 45 cards of that set, usually we do get the, the reprints in that original. Format. Do we have a confirmation as to what the rarity of Snake Rain will be? Because the originals are no, rare, if I recall. Nothing. It, odds on it'll be a common, because it's in an Ancient Guardian set. So mm. it'll either be common or ultra rare. I don't see it being anywhere in between. OTS 16 Ulti. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, that'd be so dumb. It'd be <laughs> such, it'd it be could be the thing. ghost rare. Could be the ghost rare, yeah, that's it. It'd be such a them thing to do as well. <laughs> I, know, I really love the part here where it's like, if reptiles aren't your thing, the new super cool Asarctic monsters <laughs> put a new spin on synchro summoning. Epic. Just wanted to drop in the pun of super cool. Oh my god, we're so we're fucking awful. <laughs> um, When's the release date on this? I, I can't find it. Oh, oh, it's not here. Alright, so, uh, what other news have we got? I can't think of anything. Uh, My brain is not working. I thought you had more than what you already had lined up, but apparently I th- not. I, th- I, th- I think we're just going to touch on the cards that came out in Dawn and Majesty, but to be honest, none of them are overly impressive. You wanted to mention something immediately at the start of the podcast. Ah, and yes, 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 yes. How we are, forget again? what it was. Okay, so, the uh, next structure deck ah, yes, revamp has been announced, and Ooh. it is Sanctuary in the Sky, Agent Fairies deck. Which I am super excited but about. But they already got counter fairies. I don't care. We don't need shut another up. reprint. No, those cards are bad. We've got Drytron for, for fairies. No, shut up. 
We've you got... use like one fairy. Shut up. I don't know. We use it better than that deck ever did. <laughs> Why don't they just release? Won't have you disparage my with new dragon maids. Because then your deck value would plummet. Oh. So so will it bring it to the heights that Shadow has seen? Is it is it going? Almost get... definitely not. <laughs> well, not unless Schism they wasn't in the off. starter deck. So there was it. Schism wasn't in the starter deck. Yeah. So... this is fair, but That's I also true. can't see like. Theory, you could do some broken stuff with agents, but I just can't see it happening. Mm. You do things like normal summon agent of Mars, and then uh, pass your turn. No, 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 <laughs> no, 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 Ben. I won't, ha- I won't have this disparagement broken. of my original deck. Okay. It was a really good deck. Yes, it was m- like it was meta at the time. It was pretty good. I like how Bragg didn't say meta, right? <laughs> no, <laughs> he was like, no, it, it was... It was tier one. Like, pretty it good. Was, it, it won YCSs. Ooh. Yeah. Fucking dragon made weep piece of shit. took it over like, pretty they, quick. Could they bounce two things? No, they could pop two things. Too slow. Back then, that was fast as fuck. <laughs> fast as fuck, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Can't even link the shine balls into a firewall dragon and can't ball off. Yeah, you can. Back then, you could. Gachi Gachi. Oh, yeah, Gachi Gachi was broke. I remember running that in uh, Gishi. It was great. I used to play it. I, I, don't think it was, I don't think it was at the time, but my usual play was like make Gachi Gachi and then summon Agent of Entropy and use him and Creation to make Beatles. What a time. Valid. It was fun <laughs> at the time. Um, but anyway, I'm very excited despite your bullshit opinions <laughs> as to when that deck comes out and what gets announced. Um, and we already know what you think, so fuck you both. <laughs> but what do you do when it hard loses to whatever shitty structure deck they released beforehand? Because for some reason, Konami's going in reverse power creep on some things. <laughs> no, no, see, structure decks are reverse power creep. We've still got dinos, like dinosaurs and Shadol, which all have like great structure decks. It's like... Man, they we've even, been printing a lot of bad structure decks lately. Dinos what should we do? Was so good they did it twice. Yeah. What should we do? Reprint dinos? Okay. <laughs> we don't need to make new structure decks good. We can just reprint dinos. To be fair, Obi Raptor was getting crazy expensive before that reprint. It was like more expensive to buy just the Obi Raptors than it was to find structure decks yes. yeah. from someone and yeah. buy those. Yeah, um, myself a little after that. Yeah, and that was mainly because like it wasn't even people like wanting to play dinos; it was just people wanting to play like some fucking bullshit FTK where <laughs> they could just ditch fucking um, Carver get on. Yeah, normal summon Ovi Raptor, go into Ib. Yeah, I do yep. miss Ib. Fuck dinos for banning Ib. <laughs> There's so many other decks I would do it as well though, like for sure. Everything that could just make a five synchro and then go full combo would just be like. Yeah. Dino, Dino's bad. Dino's could turn it into like Dino's bad. It thing. doesn't want anything in ages, I, probably. I no. just wanted to do Mech Knight things, okay? I just wanted to summon my Draconet, make Ib, search a card that let me play. Why can't I do that anymore? Dino's. <laughs> you have Dino's, Dino's uh, searching world legacy monstrosity going on. Dino's seem a bit average at the moment, though. Jasper showed me a spicy list of that Shadow old Dinosaur deck that I'm kind of curious to see what's up with that. Uh, imagine ditching cards that you need from deck you for free but it's a blind second build so it's like there's no prospects going first but the um... I mean that's the whole thing of Dinos isn't it you want to go yeah, second oh uh, yeah going first can be alright like generally going first was UCT and um like Lugia yeah. no not Lugia like, sorry Dogger okay that's, that's that sounds enough. a lot like Macabre Pass to me well it's double Macabre Pass because you get double Negate you get a Negate and then you get a Negate for their Negate and it's great Flip face down. <laughs> and then you flippy afterwards. Yeah, exactly right. If you're in a good position, you pop a baby. If you're in a bad position, you just pop the dog up. But things can also get not so good, so... No. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Dino does what Dino does. And then sometimes it doesn't. <laughs> yeah, so just go second. When well, they drop lands, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, true. So, um, yeah, I don't think any of the other news is particularly exciting, so we're going to move on to some questions that we've been asked in the discord um so there will be a link in the description if you're on youtube to join the discord feel free to jump on in um if you're on spotify feel free to check us out on youtube team cowboy for game i think is what the channel's called something approximate to that why not there we go dgau team (laughs) Team cowboy for g every time (laughs) That we try to spruik the channel, you spruik something else that you're doing. 
<laughs> Shut up. God, I wish I was editing that. Braggio on Twitch. Shut up. So, the first question we've been asked is uh, from Edwin. Oh, wait, Woo-hoo! no. Sorry. No, I think we answered that last time. Yeah, I think we answered that last time. Sorry, wrong question. There's um, one for Lachlan, and it says, Why is your cat triple C thick? <laughs> and I've got... <laughs> And I've got Hosma right here while Lachlan's away. She says... Yeah, she plonked herself on Andrew's bag. Yeah. He wasn't planning to stay for the pod, but now he can't leave. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually illegal to me. You can't disturb a sleeping kid. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. First question actually comes from Rai Guy, And his question is, how do you personally pick which hand traps or techs that you're running in your decks? Ooh. Good question. Well, what was last week? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, there is a bit of that. It's so definitely that environment at the moment, isn't it? Because it's not like we have regionals or anything right now. So yeah, that's the thing. Like, it's not as if you have to cater to like a broad variant of decks and pick hand traps to like cover your bases. It's more just like, oh yeah, I usually burst this fucker in the third <laughs> round, so I just play these. Yeah. So yeah, it's generally like at the moment you're more than capable of just going, okay, these are the decks that I know I'll be versing. These are the hand traps that are going to work best against them. Um, in terms of techs, like, I know, I'll flick between a couple every so often, but usually it's just cards that... I don't think there's that many techs these days, like, it's just specific, like, I find it's more just hand traps, so for example, or I suppose there's some things, like, I'm running Super Poly at the moment, and I wouldn't even call that a tech, it's just like, it's just a board wipe, really, in a way, it's similar to a yeah, hand Yeah, but it's trap. not like it's a, a deck fight. that's, like, integral to your deck, a card yeah. that's integral to your deck. Yeah, it's, it's something... just something you can run to outboards. Yeah. yeah. It's similar, similar to hand traps in a way, yeah. Like, I don't know. If you, if you ever run Chore, like, Ash Blossom is always the most universal. It's, like, low impact sometimes, but it's also, I don't know. People don't yeah. know if good, sometimes that's all it takes. Yeah, so, it depends very much on the deck that you're versing as well as to how good particular cards are. Hmm. A lot of the time it comes down, like, if I'm tailoring a deck, if I've got, like, seven cards of space, it'll be, like, Gamma goes in here. Yeah. Uh, Gamma's, like, an interesting one as well, too. So, like, as soon as you're... you're Whenever you recognise your deck has the ability to do very powerful things without a monster on the board, Gamma is always an easy choice, right? <laughs> Dragon Beats. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> or Chaos Grid, whatever. Fuck up, man. Chaos Space, all that kind of stuff. Even in Dino's, it was good because, like, the Misk effect from Graveyard, if you didn't have anything field. Like, that into Ash into Gamma felt so great. <laughs> uh, but if you didn't have the Gamma, it felt terrible. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was not great either way. Irish like, Car Reward. Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, like, I wouldn't even say that any of my decks are running any particular techs at the moment. Like, the extent of techs at the moment seems to be, you know, I might play it evenly tonight. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah, like, stuff like that for your blind stuff. Like, a lot of decks just don't have room for it anymore. Like, you just got to have the consistency so high to keep up. Like, you don't have room to run, like, a Denko Seco or something anymore, for example, because it's just... I don't know, you're just going to lose because you open two of them and, and then you can't pop off and you hold them off for a turn but then you just get yeah. fucked the next turn and it's like alright yeah so like text are like yeah text would generally get you like past maybe one or two problems that if you're facing down like a massive board you need like mass removal and there's not a lot of quote unquote text you can really put in that place Hosmer's going fucking bonkers I don't know what's going on just trying on. to figure out where rats should lick it's so cool cats weed me up um yeah Mm -hmm. so that i think that pretty much covers that um then we have a question from a guy named budget um what is the one card or tech that you've sworn by but everyone else gives you shit for playing chamber dragon mid (laughs) that's no shut up i take Uh, it in other decks like dragon mid Without the pendulum you off the table. And by that I mean kick the chair. <laughs> uh, I can't even remember the last time I had something that was like really frowned upon. Um, Your entire dino deck. Uh, <laughs> I stuck to the end of one, yeah. Last, last tech that I played that was really, really good, but I guess everyone kind of thought it was weird, was uh, really a long time ago. I used to play in, whenever I played Paleo Frog. Um, uh, the card where it's the dude staring at the computer screen and it's like shining light. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah um, backfire or something. Like that. No, it's not backfire. Overworked it's something. Overworked, overworked, that's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pretty sure that's it. Yeah. It's something like that where it's like if a monster's normal summoned with a thousand or less attack, you banish it in all copies in your opponent's deck. 
So, like, if your opponent normal summoned Alistair, it was like, oh, yeah, activate this. Is it a counter trap? No, it's just a regular trap. Okay. I still don't like it. Don't play it. Yeah. <laughs> um, the last one I played that, like, people were, like, shunning me for was probably Book of Moon when it came to three. Because mm-hmm. I, still, I still swear by the fact that that card is, like, low-key Book key of broken. Moon minus one... Uh, um, I don't know. Like, I, I I don't recall anything that I've gotten too much grief for. Like, Dimension Shift is something that I've ran in a few decks that I don't think anyone's ever disagreed when I ran it because I used to just run it in decks that I've had synergy with, which was like Mutants, Thunder Dragons. That was mainly it, really. I definitely um, sighted Shifter tonight. Never, I never ever got to use it. No, I never saw you play it. Well. Not that we had that much opportunity to explore uh, the yeah. factors of your deck. I wouldn't call it I exactly did. in this category, but like I actually enjoyed playing. Um, I think in Dinosaur for a little bit, I was trying out um, Dinos going second with uh, with a heavy Kaiju engine. I think I ran like the Slumbers and stuff for a little bit, but I wouldn't go as far as swearing by them. Like it's it's a card that's definitely been power crept a fair bit these days. It's just got to run so much main deck stuff. I don't know. We've been in this meta for a long time where. Like, the power creep's gotten to the point where, like, if you can't get full combo off one card and then your other four cards don't matter, it's like, then you're just paying a sub-tier deck. Which feels kind of bad sometimes, but... I expected I'd have, like, more answers to this, but it's like... No. I don't really get... Fl- I rarely do get flamed on, like, my choices when I do deck builds. Yeah. <laughs> I expect that to be, like, a common thing. It's chain disappearance of the card as well. It's not the computer screen one. The computer screen one I also actually, used to oh, get yeah, yeah. on. Um, actually, like one tech I had, oh, it was still a side deck tech, I think, but for um, the Orcus matchup when I was playing Thunder Dragon and for other stuff was um, System Down. I really liked that. I didn't, I didn't take that though. Yeah, I didn't take that into the main one. I feel like I was playing that before a lot of people, like before I knew a lot of people playing it. And my favorite thing was that, that um, was that, I think it was, it wasn't actually Annex, it was, uh, what should we call it? Uh, uh, Nationals? Nationals, yeah, that's the one where I just happened to run into a Cosmo player. Oh, boy. And, like, oh, no. and this guy was just like... That poor man. This guy's like, what do you mean you have this? I was like, oh, I guess this works. I hide out your neck, here we go. Yeah. That poor, poor bastard. Yeah, 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 that was pretty one-sided, that one. Uh, <laughs> the next question comes from Ominous Gengar, who I think... Do we know who that is? Uh, would you believe? Yeah, we do know who that is. That is... Uh, is it Hayden? It's Hayden, yeah. Yeah, okay. Uh, so, his question is, what are the decks you hate playing against? Um, I have a, a whole raft of these. Mm. Um, pretty much anything that Lachlan's ever played. <laughs> um, it's just facts. Uh, I get... like I suppose it's always a bit of a biased view, but I often... Obviously get start hating versus England to us a whole lot of same stuff and just keeps dominating with the same wave like I'm getting a little bit like that with Shadow at the moment um just forever running into a special summon into Chain Schism into Winder into Send Your Thing and then you get a pass turn and then just get OTK the next turn yeah but before that it was similar to like you know you're getting full combo off Dragon Link and you're like cool you're gonna rip two of my cards and I'm and a massive board to play through I think that was the last deck where I was like uh, I hate this. It was like Inferno Ball. Oh, it was like rip fuck loads. I, oh, yeah. For me, the most recent for sure would be Virtual World, though. Like, it's, it's yeah. just... And not even Virtual World. It's, it's like literally just... Just was, BFD. Was BFD. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, fucking... In terms of an entire deck that, like like I said, there's a whole raft of them, but like there's a couple of ones that like stick in my mind as decks that I hate versing. Uh, anything that was like reliant on Mystic Mind, whatever yeah. oh, variant it is, just like... 100%. Just like... Fuck those people off. Just stun, stun type decks that kind of do nothing but like. Yeah, like there's a difference between like playing like control, control and playing stun. And the difference is control is like you have an, a finite number of things to stop your opponent from doing things, and after that is like okay, they've beaten the board. Stun's just like no, no. I play. Cards. I just get to play slightly <laughs> more than you do, yeah. but you get to play none. And it's like, why are you here? Like, Solitaire's free, bro. I used to get that... F- yeah, that's it. I used to feel like that against... It sounds bad, but like, uh, Pure Cyframes, when they open quite oh well... Oh my fucking god, it's Pure similar. Cyframes. It's oh like literally god. nothing... Like, their only thing is to stop you from doing anything. Like, they kind of... And then they eventually snowball. In like, that tech, if you manage to resolve a Prohibition Calling Driver, do you just win? <laughs> probably. 
Yeah. Wait, do you, does that stop you summoning them? I thought they just stopped you activating them. You effects. cannot play those cards. Oh, okay. I forgot that. Um, yeah. Just gotta hope they don't have the spell there, there was definitely a point where, like, Cyframe... Oh, I suppose it was when we had events, so who knows what it'll be when we get back to it. But there was definitely a point where, like, at almost every event, there was a handful of Cyframe players, and, like, you wanted to know who they That's were... Cool immediately so you knew what to yeah. fucking do when you saw them i used to get really annoyed by trickstar yeah in, in in the format it was in yeah for sure like just getting hand ripped it's just one of the, and like obviously the common theme is that you just don't get to play there's no interaction yeah like with a dragon link board for example um like you still have a chance to fight through that and especially if you was also playing dragon link and stuff like you can push through it there's some back and forth some negates some pops like you might play you bait some stuff out then talents and there's a bit of back and forth but just like, you're right, like Trickstar at the Prime was just like, ah, oh, in the standby fires, by the way, reincarnation, on resolution, reincarnation, and droll. Yeah, and you, it's like, you activated any card that Yeah, adds. it's like, cool, I guess I'll go fuck myself. Reincarnation, droll. Like, it was uh, horrendous. Yeah, look, it was a very rough time. Um, and yeah, it was like, I think we only spoke about it last week, it's like, I wish I'd known how good one of my favourite trash decks yeah. was against yeah. that <laughs> when it was relevant. Yeah. Think, yeah, it was. Uh, like, that Nats that year, I was playing Trickstar Striker. And I come up against a guy in, like, round two who, like, was clearly new to the game. And he activated, like, a card to search. I think it was, like, he was playing Red Eyes, and he activated Insight, and I was oh. like, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Reincarnation feels, troll. Feels... He was like, what do you mean I don't get to draw cards? I was like, yeah, you don't get to draw yeah, them, man. <laughs> it's dirty. I, I genuinely, with a passion, hate how that interaction works. Yeah. I, I, I It should never have been a thing. I, the way I read it, and obviously I'm not a judge, but the way I've always read it, like, it just seems to read as one effect, and I'm like, you, you shouldn't be able to, like, hit the cards, and then, like, know when the game state knows that it can't yeah. draw it, right? Like, but yeah. That's how but I suppose drawers. if they, if they change, like, because the way the current cards are ruled is based, like, and the way that that interaction is ruled is, like, basically cards resolve as far as they can, yeah. so because it already activated, it tries to... Like get at the point of, of activation then, it can do it and then only when the chain yeah. resolves that it and it's... if they change the way that interacts there's a whole whole bunch of cards that and need to change because like it, yeah it's just Pandora's box at this point but also it's also irrelevant because no one's fucking playing trick stars anymore yeah so I suppose like, it's like a lot of events like 2019 for example even though I got a bit frustrated with the Orcus matchup as Thunder Dragon because it was just a Orcus matchup but it's like it's it wasn't super frustrating in that sense it was just like you know you get a bad matchup you get it but that I think had a great host of many different decks um, that kind of were viable at the time and very uh, not too different from the year after I guess really like 2019 we had what was it Orcus Thunder Dragon Salad uh, Prank Kids Sky Striker uh, Sky Striker and a few of them and they all kind of like had their little triangle like for me as a Thunder player at the time like the Sky Striker match was free because, you know, unless they opened all the Widow make it, like, Widow fucking acres, you know, the deck can't search, which is what it did. But then I instant lost to the Orcus matchup, generally. Um, but that was, like, that was great, where, where, by contrast, like, as you were saying, we had um, the trick stuff format, where it was just like, better not fucking search, because you're losing your whole hand, like... Or, At least then you were like, thank you for summoning Colossus, because now I cannot yeah. search. Yeah, we had Spiral not too long after that, which was just like, you don't get to do anything, here's Ibli and a U-Link board... Yeah, actually, yeah, that's another deck you that spiral is, is a problem. fucking yeah. dead is fucking Spiral. That deck can suck a dick. <laughs> I really enjoyed OG Spiral. Very much enjoyed it. It's because you were playing it. Yes, and I didn't lose a Locals for three months. <laughs> <laughs> take that. Yeah. I'm single-handedly killed narrow Locals. And look, Master Plan is dead. Well, I suppose it's a thing shot at time. Like, it, I wonder how good those decks would do in modern thing with some that came back. Like, it'd still be very good with the potential, but... But the problem yeah. is, like, back then, we also didn't have Debiru. We didn't have Dark Ruler. Yeah. We didn't have quite a few things which actually make a bit of a difference. But that's the thing. Like, on once Magician Souls came out, Spiral came back because there was another way for them to play. Mm. And, again, like, we had Nibiru. We had Hand Traps. But that deck still just fucking played. That version of the deck made Appaloosa on four summons. Yeah. That's a thing. Yeah, it was dumb. It was like, oh, would you like to make... Like, either you Nibiru... Like, worst case scenario, you, would you like to Nibiru my board now when I've played literally nothing that actually builds the game state? So the only chance or would you like to was, wait until I have Apple? The only chance there was Dark Ruler, I guess, right? But even then, you've no still got to, like... 
get rid of your own. Uh, oh, you still yeah, got a non targetable um, thing on the field and probably three monsters to get through. Untargetable and also can't be destroyed the first time. Mm. It's like, oh yeah, cool. No problem. Yeah. So there's Spiral Dead is something I'm very happy about. Um, but yeah, other than that, I don't think there's like any decks that I hate, hate playing yeah. anymore. In summary, yeah, I'd, I'd say in summary, it's just that anything that like provides basically no interaction kind of feels bad. Like I don't mind negates being on the board because, as I said, like there's there's answers to that now. We've yeah. got droplet. You can chain your gammas and stuff like that. When things are just um, a blanket, no for the turn. Exactly it's right. Like, okay, cool. Like exactly, and as we said, like when you make the U link board, you've got Ibli, so you can't summon a link, but you can't summon a link because you got the U link board stuff like that, which Maybe. is just zero interactivity. I always find when I'm playing it stun, it's a just case of you. like, you look at your hand, you see like a Harpy's Feather Dust, it's like, oh cool, I've just won this game because I've opened one card that outs your board. That's it. Mm. There is like no follow up to that. Yeah, that was always nice until they flipped Dark Bribe and <laughs> they're like, here's another card, but <laughs> it's not going to do it. <laughs> yeah, it's like, in those matchups too, when they're playing like Skull Goddess and shit like that, and you top, and end up top decking a, a spell and trap negate, you're just like, I yeah. just know this. You have a negate for this. Yes. Is quite a habit. <laughs> on, on a slightly other topic, like if we're just going on a bit of a tangent, um, I was saying the I, I do like with some of the power creep and how some of the sports go on. I was, I was having a conversation with Jasper about um, things like Pot of Prosperity, which I feel like is this amazing card that makes bad decks good and good decks better. Like it's this interesting yeah. thing where your inconsistent shitty deck, like I'll, I might try mutants again if I pick them up, not to. You know, I'm not expecting massive, massive results, but it'd be interesting to see a deck that has three effective upstarts but better to be like, all right, like I have a hard time pulling off this combo, but now I've got like three extra chances to, to see, you see what I need to do. It seems like that, mm. except when you're sitting there like, man, off the top six here, I just need to see a normal summon. And you see <laughs> six side deck cards, and it's like, oh, cool, none of these were in my opening hand. Yeah. Go for it, and it. also, they're going back to the bottom of the deck, so now yep. I'm not seeing those either. <laughs> But also in a matchup where you know it, like you need it, for example, like it seems nice to be like, all right, like if I side a nib, like in a matchup where it's great, like against Salad, for example, like I like the idea of being like, okay, I get five chances to see it, and if I hit pot, I get another six chances to see it. Like that seems kind of really good. Yeah. When uh, it was one of my matchups when we were playing in Sydney, I was like, all I need to do is see a Kaiju off my top six, and I cannot lose because he either negates the prosperity, I activate Gamma and win. Or I see a kaiju off the top, kaiju and win. And I look at the top six cards and I'm like, none of these are kaijus. <laughs> none of them are any form of interaction here. Perfect, yeah. Um, so the next question we have, and it's very cringe, is um, from Edwin, and it asks, who is best girl? Chamber no, Dragon we'll, we'll, Maid. We've girl. definitely answered, we've definitely entertained this idea before, though. It's Hosmer. <laughs> she best girl. We're talking about... Um, she triple so I did ask for clarification as to what he meant by the question, and it was, "Who is the best Wajio waifu?" It's Chamber Dragon Maid. <laughs> Anime Ben. Dragon titties. Oh. It's Chamber Dragon Maid. Shut up, Ben. So Chamber, who... Chamber Dragon shut Maid up, is such up, a good Yu-Gi-Oh card. Up, shut up, they gave her up, her up, own up. anime. No, this was definitely a Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> I mean, the way that he phrased the first question sounded very much like a uh, Yahoo Gio. Yahoo who is best girl? Gio. Like, I'm surprised there's a question mark. Um, like, I've not watched anime beyond, like, the first season to know oh. enough about the female characters, so it's just my. Oh. That is all. You know what? which season you should really watch? No. Season one of Mish Kobayashi's Dragon Meat. <laughs> Why do we invite you? Akiza. Akiza. I don't even know she's, who that is for she's context. She's the only answer. She's the one that has a black rose dragon. And she she's has drawn huge weird. titties. Yeah, she's <laughs> just... <laughs> what, There's what? this 14-year-old girl. <laughs> I was going to say, this isn't one of those animes where you can go, oh, she's actually 3,000. No, she's actually a child. You're a pedophile. <laughs> well, she's in the future, so it's not my problem. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> that makes like it mega, worse. She's like a mega pedophile because you're like yeah, 12 years old. She's still, she's still 14, but then you're like 107. What was a thousand years ahead? Was... Well, the fair is a thousand Brian years old. Brain age pretty and... slow. He a ghost. Yeah, and he's like literally inside. He'd be given that ghost D to take. <laughs> he watches Yugi jacket. Like, and I'm the pedophile. Yeah. 
The no, whole no, show. No no. no, no. If we're going, if we're going <laughs> by the mechanics of the Someone's moon puzzle, that. realistically, the pharaoh only comes in as he climaxes. Oh. Yu Gi Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Bastard, come up again! Oh, no. I did all the hard work. <laughs> just on. <laughs> oh no! It's just got like a new meaning. A new meaning to like the ghost head. <laughs> He doesn't put it under his arm, he just like switches out of the glass. How weird would that be for the pharaoh though? He's just chilling in the puzzle and then he comes back into the world on the cusp of climax. Look, this is where this podcast has gone. Look, Jake baited me back into this podcast and this is where I've ended up. Yeah, look, it's probably been about as long as you've been on the podcast since we've done a Yahugio, and these are where these always ended up. So like um, I guess, yeah, a little bit of a thank you to Edwin for bringing us back to <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh! Yeah. Back to the roots. I had one queued up. Yahoo Questions is dead now. Yeah, so as of... Oh, this ruins the illusion of three in the morning. As of uh, an hour ago, uh, Yahoo Answers went into read-only mode. So... No, well, and no like one, a... no one asked a Yu Gi Oh related question in the last month. So I was going to go, I was going to grab the last Yu Gi Oh related question. There's an answer that mentions Yu Gi Oh, but it's Aww. not. What are the shittest card games to play? <laughs> oh. <laughs> it, the question pretty much goes, "Oh my my uh, my my ex broke. I broke up with my ex, and he said he wants to come around and play Magic the Gathering, but is an hour too long to drive just to play Magic the Gathering?" Everyone else is like, yes, yes, he wants something more. And someone's like, yeah, that bitch probably wants to play Yu-Gi-Oh! The Gathering. <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh! The Gathering. <laughs> oh, shit. There we go. Yahoo <laughs> Answers. Back sweaty nerds. We um, will miss you. Yeah. Well, unless we keep getting questions like this from Edward. Yeah. In which it, case, or, it's the same. Look, or just, if you want to bash your head on a keyboard and put a question mark on there, like... That's what most of them were. Yeah. Um, but then on a more serious note, we do have another question from Edwin. Uh, what is slash R one slash three cards that can never come off the current ban list? So what cards are limited that can never come off being limited? He's always asking. No, no, what cards are banned that like, can never come back? There's a Heaps lot. Of it's Majority of them that are on there. <laughs> Magical scientist. So I'd is, it, sorry, is he asking R. what has to stay on there or what can Yeah, what on? has to stay on. Like most of it, right? Yeah, like half of that band list is stuff that can't. Like can't as move. the game progressively power creeps, like it's just like broken stuff typically becomes even more broken. I mean, obviously they they can errata or anything to make it, you know. Well, he off. said outside bring of back the Victory Dragon. I want to see some people get punched uh, in the yeah. face. Victory Dragon, you right. surrender. I don't try Victory and... Dragon's not a problem. Yeah, I'll Victory try... Dragon's not a problem. Yeah. The fights it causes are the problem. I'll try and do a speed run of myself. With this. Oh, that's a good point, actually. Yeah, you have the mechanic of just surrendering once they summon it. So it's yeah, yeah, like, yeah. That's why it's banned. <laughs> because it starts literal fights at yeah. events. Because the moment, like, three dragons are on board, people just scoop. That's fair. They can do that. Um, you can summon that so easily in Dragon Maid. It'd be easy. Like, yeah, I think a lot of these... I are like always... say Dragon Maid, I was going to lose my shit. you got a lot of cards that are contingent on other cards there, right? Like, you can do. There's, like, what, like, five cards that can come back if... if like needle fiber gets banned instead. Yeah, like, there's there's probably at least like forty cards on the ban list that are banned because like the cards exist. Astro could come back, so Gofu probably can never come back. That's yeah, just... Gofu definitely can't. Uh, Sixth Sense. Actually, I was thinking about Sixth Sense the other Sixth day. Sixth Sense. I feel like literally all that Dragon Animals could... can come back. Like, what? How could it possibly be worse than what slow. we've already got? Dragon oh, oh wait, I thought you said they can't come back. I'm like, no, you can fight. No, they can come no, back at three. Who gives a shit? Well, I mean, it might be a little bit wild, but eh. oh, couldn't be worse than what we already got. I don't think it'd be wild. I think, I mean, Love, I think Love Leader could. Oh, they come, come back. back. They come back pretty well, and they replace themselves. They would definitely be useful. My opponent summoned a big guy. Oh no! I mean, well, you just link. You just use him in Dragon Wing. Okay, so what can't yeah. come back? Yeah, Yadagarasu yeah. could never come to back because that just promotes a terrible <laughs> fucking game. Um, what else are we got? Oh yeah, I mean, there's just there's a lot of stuff that could come back. Like no, but like it's not the worst. But uh, yeah, magical scientist is probably without a rise, pretty stupid. Like, is it corridor or nightmare? I'm thinking of the card that's like draw some and then discard some. What card am I thinking of? Mirage of nightmare. Mirage oh, yeah. of nightmare. Yeah, which it's it's just such a nut card. Hang um, uh, butterfly dagger Elmer would be um busted. That, that's just FTKs. Yeah. Yep. It's like, oh yeah, you drew 
one card that pops a quick spell game. <laughs> Mass Driver. I think Giant Trunet could come back. Giant oh, Trunet yeah. could definitely come back. Yeah, but they've it, made hate true name. Yeah, they've made hate true name. They've made lightning storm. Oh, firewall's legal now as well, guys. Remember that. Ah, uh, yes. It's also shit now. Yeah, pretty much. Can um, ultimate offering come back? What's the worst that could happen with ultimate offering? Yeah, yeah. Uh, ultimate offering. I feel like it's a million years too slow these days. Have you heard of Alistar like, summon? Search invocation. Oh, yeah. Alistar summon. Search invocation. Alistar summon. I want vanity's search back. I want vanity's back. No. Give me vanities. We just had a vanities. discussion about how cards like that are inherently bad for the game. Yeah, but you can just destroy it. Yeah. It's easy. Soul Charge was... We had that for a lot longer than I thought we would, but like, it's just with like links and stuff. I still, to this day, think that I, I have a better idea than Konami for links, which is in the sense of like, they should never be ra- sorry rated as above link rating one if they come back from grave. I think it's absolutely stupid the things that abuse summon in back left right and center and then they still count as like three monsters or four monsters and shit we are we should definitely just get snatch shield back for a format again but yeah, yeah, why not? Why so so... i mean they've printed another one it's called triple tactics talent so why bring back an old car when they can just print a new one bring back metamorphosis <laughs> yes yeah, could tom but... come back they've kind of banned all the yeah. problem cars with it i feel like that could come back oh but so there's something else to come out that... Ptolemaeus could definitely come back because it's pretty much at the moment just like Ptolemaeus, Summon Infinity. It's, it's a not like pay. every other fucking deck. Can. Yeah, stop saying Ptol. Ptolemaeus. It's no. Ptolemaeus. It's Rongo. a P right there. Rongo sucks. It's, it's, solid. it's a solid Like Pterodactyl. There we go. Rongo has to stay banned it's forever. Or like, or like Ptolemy's Gate in Egyptian stuff. Why do I invite you here? <laughs> yeah, Rongo bad. And last question we have for this evening is what do we think of triple tactics talent in the current meta do we think it's good or do we think it's bad jake considers it a staple yeah 100 percent is a staple (laughs) it's in a hand trap meta i feel like it's which is definitely what we're in right now at least at our locals it's bloody it's the only thing that might get you back into a game i think yeah 100 percent the thing for me is like a it like helps you going first in when you inevitably run into an ash or a gamma or anything else it gives you options to play after that. Like, you're not completely mm. blown out by one hand trap. You have mm. options. And then going second, it just helps you break the board. Because, yep. like, on current boards, you're dealing with three to four different interruptions of some sort. Almost always, there's a fucking Dragoon involved. So being able to have a non-target option to deal with it... Yeah, it's great. It's fantastic. Like against Ash, you, you've, gone, you've, you've gone neutral with their Ash generally for a card... So then if you talents like you're back up to five cards after you draw the two and they're they're down a card type of thing. So in some circumstances it's quite good. Just depends if it fucked your only play or not. Would you feel comfortable walking into YCS with it? I'd feel more comfortable walking into YCS with it than one of our locals. Yeah, yeah, I think I think people are always gonna have hand traps at those kind of events type of thing. Ash is just every event I've ever gone to, there's always Ash. Yeah. I'm always like, Ash is in high impact right now, people won't run it. Ash. Okay. Three or two? Talents, three. Yeah, I always run to three. But I also run droplets at three, so if I draw surplus talents, I can pitch them off droplets. <laughs> the, the only card that I've never been, and, and people can flame me for this all they want, the only card I've never been convinced of is a three of, that like that should be, is Desires. Same. I've always had two as the sweet spot for that, and people will always say to me, yep, no, it's not correct, because you always want to see a type of thing, but I don't know, I've never... Two and an upstart. Two and an upstart. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, no, you need to see that shit. Like, I, I run for mine because Drytron runs very combo I suppose it was always combo y, but um, the best supplement I've found at the moment is triple, triple, triple tactics and um, one call by just to. I mean, I would, I would change that for another two call by in a heartbeat, but, you know, Konami's being a bitch, so. Yeah, Whatever. give us cross out dead. Yeah, fuck fucking no. Jesus like, Christ. fuck, if they're going to cuck us on that, at least give us the expensive reprint so we can trade in our $3 fucking call buys for $90 fucking cross yeah. out designators. Yeah, because I want to negate your hand trap and then go plus for it. I Let's... love what cross out does for, like, deck builds. You know, cross I know, out right? doesn't have to send a hand trap. I know, it can send anything. Yeah. It's fucking amazing. In the OCG, yeah. I've seen that. There's so many deck builds. It does like, so it's much just, It's like correct to run like one Nibiru yeah. one Ash and all this other random shit just to be like, like the amount of decks that are over there they're like three Maxi three Ash one Bill one Nibiru one this one that <laughs> it's like okay yeah so on the earlier thing uh, cards on the ban list 
I never really knew that Mind Master existed, let alone is on the ban list. Yeah. I was just like, what the fuck is this card? And yeah. so she was like... Psych- psychic FTK. I, can, I get how this can be broken, but... Gotta say, the coolest thing... On a very slight tangent, I can't remember if I've told you guys this before, probably, but the coolest thing I saw in an OCG replay was a dude who got maxi, and he, his opponent drew about uh, something like 20 cards, and then the other guy did, um, uh, what's it called, card destruction or whatever yeah. it is, and he actually, uh, <laughs> he made him, he won by deck out because the dude had to draw more than <laughs> half his deck. I was like, huh. So, like, 20-something cards in this guy did not draw an ash, apparently. So. See, where I thought you were about to go with this is that, like, he drew, like, 20-something cards, and then um, in the standby phase, his opponent went heavy slump. Uh, in, um, back in Zoo format, one of the guys that played at Nara used to play Infusion Sub-Zoo, would play the variant that just repeatedly draw. You didn't stop. So, if you ever got Max Seed, he'd just repeatedly draw until he drew into, like, fucking present card. And then he'd be like, okay, I set pass. <laughs> Stand by face present card, you're a fuck card now. <laughs> Shit. That's Boo. Interesting Boo. Yeah. <laughs> like, sure. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Actually, d- again. Just keep force feeding your opponent cards. <laughs> again, slight tangent. Um, the, one of the few like games that I remember right now, I was versing a dude, I was playing Mermel, he was playing Zoo, and he was just comboing off, but I started him on Max E, so he took the Max E challenge was doing his thing doing his thing and then on the Dryden summon I struck it (laughs) so I was like that was fun I've got 12 cards what would you like to do (laughs) imagine now the maxi challenge with Nibiru where you just like I'll I'll find him eventually 17 cards I've seen enough yeah (laughs) like you can have the opinion that maxi can come back but you're wrong bro what do you mean I think it'll be fine to be back like if it comes back, no, it has to come back at one. No, nah, three. It was terrible no, no, at no. every. If we amount. get cross out, just at one. No, nah, three. Because no. then if you draw your maxi, you can't. You can't yeah, exactly. It's maxi. one or the other. It's one or the other. You can't have both. You can't neg their maxi and then go. Oh, but in your turn, maxi. Or it needs to come back could. at one. No, Ben. Yeah. Well, otherwise, like there's so many bad things about it, especially in multiples, because like there'd be like ones where you like drop it. They take some of the challenge and then you draw into another one and then they stop because they realize they're giving you too much cards and then they pass and then you do it again and then it's just like, cool. Like, <laughs> what is this? <laughs> cool. I'd really like it to be like because I just, I'm, I'm not gonna say. But it. like, oh, it's just it's, it, like it was just so popular. Like that's that's why a lot of decks. There was uh, so many decks that are su- were successful off the back of um, Maxi just because it was just like I can't do things with four or five cards. But when I've got 12, believe it or not, when? my deck does a thing. Or you just end on such a shit board that I'll just uh, obliterate it. So uh, mm-hmm. I think Maxi was fun at the time, but it's like the game, it's just one of those things that is scales even worse as time goes on. Imagine if Konami was like, Maxi's coming back, but also hand size checks on opponent's end phase. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> OCG dumb. format, give us it now. <laughs> Worldwide. Actually, that's worldwide one release. thing that I keep but forgetting to they bring also, up. But they support stun so much more. Like, so Maxi's yeah, a good, but yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. Like, I, I could agree to Maxi coming back if we got all that stuff back too. So yeah. if, you, if you give me a format where we can go main deck three skill drain or um, <laughs> three macro or something <laughs> like that. You people are insane. Yeah, I'm just saying, like, if you're going to fuck one part of it, fuck all of it, right? Like, give us OCG. Give us OCG. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying that's, that's something I could do. You still with. wouldn't play. Yes, I would. No, you wouldn't. Yeah, maybe not. <laughs> hey, OCG, that was really easy to convince if we, him. If we played OCG, that would give me all of that plus a one uh, one Colossus, so I'd be a happy boy. Oh, fuck, that's why Colossus is there. Well, you got to get something. Colossus is there. Engage is there. It's just... Harp is there. Vanities is there. Playing the game... <laughs> I have. I, I had an itch the other day. You had an itch the other day, did yeah, you say? Yeah. It was I saw a list. <laughs> I had an idea. You didn't act upon it. Oh, yeah. And here we are. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, so I think that will do for this evening. Um, as I said, link for our description uh, for our Discord is in the description. Motherfucker's um, doing Digimon test hands. I mean, always. He's been doing it throughout the fucking podcast. <laughs> what? Um, oh, I'm honestly shocked it's not Jake. <laughs> well, I don't have my deck with me. Yeah, I packed it away. <laughs> um, the temptations. 
So yeah, if you have any questions you'd like to ask us, feel free to jump into the Discord um, or email us at teamc4g at gmail.com. Um, but um, yeah, thank you all for joining me and we'll see you again next week. Osmus Triple C. Oh, yeah, I was going to say, don't, don't email us if you're a spam bot. That, that'll be, that'll yeah. be nice. Unless you have Bob's and Fidget. What? Where what? it's just like, I have what a top position for you top 20 podcasts. <laughs> <laughs> You've been seeing those emails come through? What? No, I don't have the emails. <laughs>